Remember the Stormer 220 from Furiby? Well, one of its biggest issues were the motors, which at only 2200 kV were not really supplied with the right props. Well, we've given ours a facelift by fitting some lovely Gemfan 5152 props. Let's see what kind of difference it makes. So what a lovely, lovely day. I've got my Stormer 220 from Furiby and I've fitted the um, lovely new props to it. So just a reminder, these are the 5152s. I think the same props that you find on the Dark Max and they are lovely, lovely props. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this quad performs. Because remember, these are 2200 kV motors. Now they are obviously that's a much lower kV than you'd find on most 220 class quads. And so it needs props with a bigger pitch. Now, when I first test flew this one in the review, you might remember if we look at the punch now, it was okay, but it wasn't anything truly special. Uh, it did fly quite nicely, um, but it just lacked that special element. It just didn't feel that special. So hopefully these props are gonna give it a new lease of life. So let's fire it up and let's get it up in the air. Nice sound, they've got a good hum to them, these props. Uh, you know, this is a good quad actually. It's got a lovely camera that's bundled with it. It's not a bad quad at all. So anyway, let's give it the punch and see how it goes. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, wow. So that is much better than it was before. <laughs> if we just look at, wow. I mean, that really does go well now. Much, much better than it did before. <laughs> and it really, really screams across the sky with that sound as well. Yeah, that is, wow, what a difference. It just shows these quads, ready to fly quads, just a little bit more thought, thought and attention and they could just be so much better, you know? Um, again, these are all the stock PIDs, stock rates, so the roll rate on it isn't dramatic. It's very subdued actually, but yeah, it flies really nice. Let's see if we can do a, a rolling. Let's go, here we go, so wee! Oh yeah, <laughs> very cool. It just flies so nicely with these props and it just makes you wonder all the engineering, all the time and effort that they spend producing these quads. Why did they not just fit these props from the factory? Having said that, I guess the price is everything really. And they want to keep the price as low as they can. If you fit good props to a quad like this, you're essentially, potent, well, potentially going to increase its price by quite a significant amount. But to get a punch like this, <laughs> you know what? I just wonder if you could actually put some slightly larger props on this, not in width, but in pitch. So I think these were 5152s, maybe some 5160s could work nicely because it just feels like it's got more uh, and blime if you stuck a 6s on it or a 5s it would fly lovely this is just a 4s pack it's a 75c so we've got on the ground now another thing to test is the temperature of the motors just to make sure you're not stressing them with um, props that are potentially pushing the pitch a little bit too much these motors are barely warm and bearing in mind the temperature in the uk at the moment is about 30 c so that's a really good sign no warmth there at all the speed controllers obviously it's a four in one board so i can't feel those directly but there's no heat coming from that main stack either so i think we got away with this quite nicely Overall, what a difference a prop makes. I highly recommend if you've got an RTF quad, you don't feel that you're quite getting out of it what you should. Uh, if the motor's KV don't match the props that ship with it, don't be afraid to try something else. As I say, these props were cheap. Links to them in, are in the video description. And what a difference they've made. They've transformed what otherwise was quite a boring quad. So, all good. Uh, be sure to comment below, give the video a thumbs up, and of course, click subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.